And welcome, CS Game here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be playing a sort of random game, which it popped up in my. You know, Steam has like recommends you for games that you've already played. Well, since I've already played Doki Doki Literature Club, this one was recommended. It's called Sucker for Love First Date. And apparently it's sort of a horror game mixed with the dating game, which I am all down for. So let's start, shall we? Um I guess we have to do chapter one. Okay then, let's begin. Eldritch Gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To me the gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final col coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under a line stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have half an hour of tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. No, oh, I'm not a bad looking guy. A few years ago I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Lynetta. Ever since I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend it or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. That actually kinda of scared me. <laughs> Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much getting money on way too much money and getting this for me to, to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming that they had the real deal was a little embarrassing. But as of today as of today, I'll have a genuine necromicon. An ancient spell book containing the dark rituals needed to contact the elder gods. Sounds cool. Finally I'll Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't it supposed to be like a brown and bigger? That's what she said. It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but it looks like it just came from an office supply store. Really? Can I buy one? No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent on this time, I thought there'd be no chance to be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer probably is, is gone. Is long gone too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam though. You think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think nobody would notice that their book is is of the dead in the book of the dead is in Malibu pink? Wait. Is this simple on the front? Embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt and gold too. And this weight. Why do they get a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer. That probably is the dear confirmation message. Really? They called the uh, delivery firm amazing instead of Amazon? Sure. 100% real, necromanon, not clickbait, not a scam, gone sexual. That just sounds like an ordinary YouTube video. Delayed arriving tomorrow. What the? My order is delayed? It won't be delivered until tomorrow? Then what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, there's encryption on the bottom. It's... Rylethian? The unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. 
Also, the pages reek of form for middle ill. Nah. I'm gonna lose my mind trying to read these words. Formaldehyde? Embalming fluid? In other words, it stinks of death. How do you know what that smells like? Why would something so cute have an ins insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Objective from the calling ritual. Okay. Do I have to hold direction? Yeah, I do. Also, why do the stepping sounds? You probably can't hear it that well, but the stepping sounds like sound like squelching. Okay, weird. Uh, items. Um. Why is there a crotch box? I'm not gonna question it. Uh, sure. The calling. Ensure all light in the po in the room has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off the bedside light, and turn off your overhead lights. Okay. Close the window. Turtle. Turn the light off and turn these lights off. Okay, what else? In the dark, light red fire candles. Oh, cool. They are your protection. The dark is dangerous. Ooh, scary. Find a button on your rick ritual necklace. How do you know I would have a ritual necklace? Whatever, I'm not going to question it. With all is complete, chant Lanetta Art Art Lament Nilgrai. I'm not going to bother reading these ones, like these lines, if they have voice acting, so you can just listen to it, okay? Mortal. Oh god, it actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen with fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? I thought it was cool. I can't talk. I can barely even. I can't even breathe. Blinded, blinding dread, choking terror, and my very sanity is teetering on, teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. Dark one. I ask you that, that you grant me one wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? Uh, no. No, I want to smooch you. Eh? What? That would be my reaction, too. Like, if someone just came up to me and... Like, if I just... If I was a demon and I got summoned, and the first thing that the that the person who summoned me said was, I want to smooch you, I'd be a bit scared. I want to smooch- Don't say it again, creep! Then how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I mean, you kind of look like a Splatoon character. But I'm not going to question it. <laughs> I'm mad with loss. Send me back. Huh? Beat has got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. At least all you can do is... Well, technically I didn't find this book. It just appeared on my doorstep. Why are you staring at me? I find this very uncomfortable. Huh? What this? I found it outside my door. Exactly. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. 
I'm just gonna pretend I know who that is, but I don't. Moo? Who's that? Are they the one who left this funny looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon! It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? That's what I was saying earlier on. God, she's cute. One sudden personality change. Does she recognize this book? Uh, well, if it's not a Necromicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. What? Really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. The music in the background sounds like Doki Doki, which I can definitely tell why this game is recommended to me by Steam. I struck gold. All the money I, sp I finally spent paid off. Wait, what did she just say? Protect my sanity. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Gulp. I can't do a gulping sound to the mi into the microphone. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while. If you understand what I'm getting at. Oh. You let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. Good evening, darlings. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. That noise that happened at the beginning of that sentence kind of sounded like the noise that Slender makes. So, okay. Will you spare the world if I win that case? No. Understandable, have a nice day. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right darling? Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. I've never heard of that saying, but I'll take your word for it. So if the world is going to end either way, deal. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the Invoke the Depths ritual? Why you s First of all, why is my poster changed? What's with the worried look, darling? I didn't know I clicked on you. I shouldn't be doing these spells alone, the book says so. Why you aren't alone. I'm here. You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Is unraveling. Nothing, I guess. Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. These rituals look bad for my short term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly then. You know, I didn't expect you to last this long in the same room as me. I spent a lot of time preparing to smooch you. It'd be, it'd be a waste if I lost my view from reality and tripped to the same. Line. Maybe you're only holding it together because you've already gone insane. Probably. What if I'm just what your mind wants to see? Things don't look like they did before I got here, do they? Mm, I mean, the only thing that really changed is the poster. Yeah, things look better now that you're here. Uh, this is so smooth. Okay, what do I do? Okay, so we've done that. Invoke the debts. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from your room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of running water. When all is complete, chant Nafalgunagalunigalotrilinigofalum. Oh god, there's a demon in my room. Just joking. Do not look out the window from your. Do not look out your window from now on. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for it. What is that in the corner? Um, what did it say I need to do? Snuff all light from your room.
Why am I pink? Okay, that's better. Okay. I should probably do it in the other room. Home sweet home. Are we? What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? No, 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 wait. Why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Hmm. Ah, no, 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 no. go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Sure. Uh -huh, okay. I mean it. Don't peek. I won't. Mm -hmm. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? I won't. Positive. All right. I'll be back in a chippy. I'm not gonna peek. Yep. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe just a little. <laughs> okay, I guess I died. But it was worth it. Home sweet. Control. Okay, there we go. P perform abyssal mist. Okay, what do I do? And she I think his shower is running to make the sound of removing water. Well, she's in the shower, so I guess. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog, because they'll know if you saw them. Okay, this is a bit creepy. Turn off the lights before you leave. Isn't a warning, it does help you <laughs> save your electricity bill. Okay, the lights are off. Let's leave. Um there's nothing out here, but okay. Let's perform. Yumagri es abanlana al magana pago kaka. Gee, it looks a bit like quiet hair out here with all this fog. What's quiet hill? rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water. I didn't know either. I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood an area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Uh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. Is there? I'm getting electrocuted. I'd hate the kids cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. After all, that page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Okay, sounds cool. Unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. I don't like that, but okay. Chant Nikin. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that one. What the hell? I can't even bend to pronounce this. E see, this guy knows. This guy knows me. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. Oh. Unspeakable! Get it? 
as in cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. I guess that's why I couldn't say it. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can! I can pronounce anything! X doubt? Anything? Anything. Oh yeah, what's this? Okay, let me give it a go. I'm British, so this would be easy for me. Worcestershire sauce. Boom. Get right. I pronounced it. Worcestershire sauce. Boom. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? See? That's exactly how I said it. Damn, you are the real deal. Maybe I'm an Aldrich god, who knows. Hey, wait a minute, those tentacles, are they like extra dongs, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, toy boat, toy... Okay, you got me on that one. Toy boat, 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 toy boat! How many times do you think the voice actor had to repeat that? What am I saying? There isn't a voice actor. That's the actual. This is the actual Eldritch God. Show off. Perform Eldritch Mouth. This ritual allow you to utter unspeakable incarnations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easy, like a bathroom, where no robes or remnants have a ritual nice on your person. Okay, there's a knife. Let's go in the bathroom. I'm still pink. Okay, chant Magogaka Yelmejipognistikyamaguna. Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should consider this film more carefully with called casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. Is my livelihood on the line here? Okay, big breath, brace yourself. I'm... I'm... cute as hell. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. That thing seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lanella. Yes? Ah, you startled me. You go me! Ah, ah. Who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa, hand holding on the, on the first date. Moving fast, but that's okay. My hand? That's pretty gross. Oh, what the f get get it off. Quick, help me cut it off, hurry. Cut it off? But it's your hand now. See? Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand, it's a very much an embodied mouth indeed. <laughs> Is this really my hand? What did I do to my hand? <laughs> Screw this is screwed up. I mean, I know being harm's way permanent body disfigurement is early on, but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch, no matter what. I'm just gonna think positive. This isn't so bad, haha. I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. Haha. Now, which mouse to use when I smooch you, haha. Darling. Is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? A sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If something interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of before I can finish. Damn it. Even picked the apartments on the top floor so to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Oh, 
crap. It's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be. Now the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world burning stuff? With all the world burning spends I've been casting? Who's that, darling? Uh, probably the mailman. I'll go make him leave. To m give me a sec. Even though the mailman sounds like a girl. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? Uh, no. No, I mean, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flame flooding god less, so it'd be a bit too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. Wait here, I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs> Missy, hey, good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Please don't say that in a sexual way. Missy, she's an old money bridge girl that suddenly showed up to the, to the club I work at and suddenly started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to be in contact with me outside of working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all these Eldritch uh, paraphernalia. The rest of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh god, yes. Oh hell yeah. Right this way, Mit- Wait, the nether is inside. I got so caught up in the moment that I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out of you? Oh, it's... Not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. It's something sexual, isn't it? A present that has to be given in private? Oh man, what could it be? <laughs> Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynette are missing meat, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with life on the online here? Here's something idiot. Ah, uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Right, I forgot about her way of curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking so long? <laughs> that sounded really weird. Is that not coming to the door? I can hear footsteps. Huh? Who was that? You have company over? That's just the mailman? Inside your apartment? Yep. Shoot, I got my lame excuse mixed up. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, missus, this is the only way I can survive this. What's going on, darling? Uh, turns out it was one of those door-to-door -door salesmen. They can be really pussy, you know, haha. Haha, I don't want any. Uh. Want me to make them go away? No, no, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they give up. Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later before she get, tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Okay, and that's where I'm going to end it. So thank you guys for watching. We'll continue with the rituals later on in the next episode. And I'll... It's a bit of a weird game. But I can see where all the, like, the creepiness comes in. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys.